Hi friends, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to talk about Chocolaty, the package manager for Windows. If you come from Mac or Linux background, you know that there are package managers which allows you to install and upgrade software on Mac and Linux. On Mac, we can use something like Homebrew and on Linux, we have things like apt or yum. So the purpose of this package manager is to allow us to install software, upgrade software, and to let us know if there are any software which is outdated. Uh, we all have been in situation where we try to install software and we go to the downloads page of this particular software and it asks us the type of uh, the processor we have, like the architecture 32-bit, 64-bit, then it could be Intel-based processor or AMD, and even for technical people, it can be sometimes confusing which version of the software we need to download and install. This is where something like Chocolaty helps us to automatically decide which package is most suitable for our uh, computer and it will install that package for us. So how do we get started? Go to chocolaty.org and you will find the install option. When you click install now, it will take you to the steps which are required to install Chocolaty. And once Chocolaty is installed, it's very easy to work with the Chocolaty software. So I use PowerShell and uh, this needs to be opened in the uh, administrative prompt. Using PowerShell, we can work with uh, Chocolaty command line. The easiest way is using the short form or the Choco command, which Chocolaty supports. We can start by looking at what are the different options available. So when I run Choco help, you can see here that it gives me a big list of the supported commands. And uh, what is more important for us is to understand these list of supported commands. So uh, it starts with uh, listing of the packages Then we can find packages, we can search packages. Uh, we can get information about the packages then we can go ahead and install a particular version of the package we can pin the package that means if there are multiple versions of the package available and we want to have a specific version uh, of that package installed and we don't want to upgrade that we want to have that specific version for a quite long period of time and we can pin it and then we can find out about the outdated packages using uh, outdated so let's run some of these commands and see how does it work. Uh, let me first start by looking at all the packages that I have installed or all the software that I have installed using Chocolaty on my computer. So I can use Choco list and I can say local only as the flag. And here it gives me a list of packages. You can see that 87 packages are installed using Chocolaty. Uh, these includes software like 7-Zip, Anaconda, AZ Copy, AZ CLI. Uh, these are all the software packages. There are also uh, things like commercial software, including Camtasia, which I use for recording these videos. Uh, Chocolaty itself is installed using Chocolaty. There are tools and utilities like uh, Commander, uh, Crystal Disk Info, then uh, Docker, Docker for Windows, .NET Framework, Dropbox, uh, there is Firacode, which is the, uh, Firacode is the font, which I use for Visual Studio and Visual Studio Code. Uh, there is Fluent Terminal, Git, Golang, uh, Google Chrome Browser, Google Drive, uh, JDK. So you can see that there is support for almost all types of software packages. It's not just about the tools and utilities even programming JDKs or uh, things like the uh, Java JDK can be installed using uh, this Chocolaty. Now let's look at uh, the advantage of using Chocolaty. So we found out what are the packages which are installed. It happens many times that we install a package or a software and then we never touch it again. If we look at the development cycle of many of these software companies nowadays, we get updates to these softwares quite frequently. Those days are gone when we would install a software and then there won't be any updates to that for years. Nowadays, we find that every 
a couple of weeks or every couple of months there is an update coming for most of these softwares and visual studio code is a classic example of this where every month we have an updated version of visual studio released so how do i find out if my package is the most uh, recent or the most updated one to find out if i have any of the packages which are outdated i can run the choco outdated command and this will give me a list of packages which are uh, outdated on my system so if we see here in the output uh, the chocolatey output will give us the package name what is the current version what is the most recent or most uh, updated version of that package available and if i have pinned that particular version uh, so uh, while it's building the list we can see that i have az copy uh, which is outdated currently my version is 10.4.3 whereas the recent version which is available or upgraded version which is available is 10.5.1 uh, same thing for Camtasia and there are many softwares which have not been updated for uh, quite some time on my machine so let me go and update one of these packages uh, maybe we can start with az copy 10 so once all this a uh, list of outdated software comes out or outdated packages let me go and show you how to upgrade az copy so we start by running choco upgrade command and we specify the name of the package in case you're not sure what parameters or uh, what is the syntax of the command we can always use the uh, help which is the most common practice for all the command line tools so usually you start with the name of the command and if there is any sub command uh, and then you type hyphen hyphen help or hyphen edge and based on that you would get what is the syntax for running this particular command so you can see the usage here uh, if i want to run upgrade i can run choco upgrade i can give a specific package name or i can give all and it will upgrade all the packages that are currently installed so you can see that all is a special package keyword which will allow us to upgrade uh, all the outdated packages we can also specify things like accept or uh, with pin and here are certain examples like choco upgrade if i want to upgrade chocolate itself i can run choco upgrade chocolatey or notepad plus uh, plus i can also run uh, multiple packages or i can also upgrade multiple packages using the same command so let's go back and upgrade the uh, azcli so choco upgrade and the cli i also like to use the yes flag which is used for uh, specifying that uh, the prompts which are used during the installation so default prompt is yes uh, many times it happens that the package requires us to give a consent saying do I want to go ahead and install this or upgrade this particular package and it would expect us to specify a yes or no so by default I'm saying yes to all these prompts which might appear and looks like I gave the wrong uh, package name there let's run the choco outdated command again to get the uh, correct package name easy copy 10 okay so clear choco upgrade easy copy 10 and then the yes flag and here we can see that uh, it has started upgrading the package So it will download the most recent version of the package from its source and it will install uh, the good part about chocolatey is that if this particular package had any dependency like a particular framework version to be installed that would also get installed as part of this installation now if i run choco outdated i should not see the az copy 10 because i have upgraded that version And here we can see that uh, the AZ Copy 10 no longer appears because it has been upgraded. 
Uh, this is the scenario where I already have the package installed. If I don't have the package installed, instead of upgrading, I would need to run the choco install command. And to run the choco install command, I can first find out which package is uh, required or uh, which package I need to install. Uh, we can look for the packages by running the choco search command. So let's say I want to install a package like uh, WinSCP, for example. Uh, this is one of the software which is used for uh, using the SCP command or running the SCP command on Windows. So uh, I have it installed here in SCP. You can see it's already outdated. But if I want to look for a uh, search for WinSCP, I can run choco search command and it will show me all the packages which have WinSCP in them. So you can see that there are multiple versions of uh, WinSCP available. There is the portable version. There is also some broken version available here uh, and there is key pass plugin for WinSCP. So uh, once I found the package, then I can run choco uh, install command. So instead of upgrade, I will be running choco install here. Uh, if I want to find out more about a package, now uh, in this case, I just found out that the pack package exists. But if I want to find out what exactly is that package, I can run choco info command and I can specify the package name. So let's look at the details of WinSCP, for example. What does this package really do? And when I run the choco info WinSCP command, you can see that it gives me a lot more information about this particular package saying what is the title? Is this trusted package? How many number of downloads have been done for this particular package? What is the URL where this package source can be found? And the summary and the description. So you can find out that it's an open source free SFTP client. Uh, SCP and uh, FTPS client and uh, we also find the description of this. This is one way of looking at the package information. The other way is we can go and search in the uh, packages itself. Say for example Visual Studio Code. I want to search for uh, the information about Visual Studio Code. I can do a Google search and Chocolatey VS Code or Visual Studio Code will bring me to this kind of uh, package which is almost similar to the information that we get when we do choco info. So uh, let's try to get this same information what we see on the browser using choco info command for VS code. So uh, we see that uh, the title is VS code. It is published on the 16th of July. So here it's saying 17. Uh, we can see here July 17 this package is testing passing and uh, we can see the description build and debug modern and cloud applications this is the same description we will find here so using these two methods either using the browser or using the command line we can find out uh, the information about a particular package and then uh, when we use the info command, it will also give us additional information about if there are any additional parameters that a package takes. Say for example, Visual Studio Code, if I don't want to have a desktop icon, I can pass a parameter along with the install or upgrade command to say no desktop icon or no quick launch icon. So that was about uh, installing, upgrading and searching for packages. If you are not a very big fan of the command line, Chocolatey also offers a user interface. It's called Chocolatey GUI and using this, it gives uh, information about on this particular PC, which are the packages which are installed. So this would be the output of the first command that we saw, which is the chocolist local only command. It will show us all the packages installed and then we can search for the packages which are available using the chocolatey link. And uh, with this, it brings me to the end of this uh, quick tip. So I hope that you found this useful. In case you want to keep your software updated, I highly recommend that you use uh, chocolatey. It really makes your life easier to install and upgrade the software. 
and if you are setting up the PC uh, newly there is also an option where you can automate the installation of most commonly used softwares using Chocolaty. So I did this uh, in my repositories. If you go on GitHub, there is a Windows Dev Machine Setup uh, where uh, or Windows Dev Playbook where I use Chocolaty to set up all the softwares that I need. And if we look at the list of softwares here, we can find out all the software which are installed using Chocolaty on my machine. I don't have to manually install any of these. So if we look, there are about uh, almost 100 lines of code. And if I remove the blank lines, more than 70 software are installed all using Chocolaty. Uh, it's not just the softwares. It also helps us to install extensions in some cases. Say, for example, if I go to uh, Choco search and do a search for VS code, which is Visual Studio code, uh, one of the most popular code editors for more than 40 different languages. Uh, we can see that it gives us uh, many of these extensions, which can also be installed, like for example, Python, Ruby, then there is Java, Prettier, uh, Spring Initializer, YAML, MongoDB. All these are extensions like Docker, MS SQL for Visual Studio Code. So it's not just the base package or the base software that we are installing using Chocolaty. Chocolaty can also help us to install these extensions as well for the tools. And personally, I find it very, very useful. I haven't installed any of these packages that I have on my system manually. I have stopped using the uh, GUI install and using MSIs. These are all installed using Chocolaty and I upgrade them using Chocolaty as well. So that's all for this video. I hope you find it useful. In case you find uh, this useful, please like this video and also share it with your friends. Thank you.